Bob, you're beginning your second year here as the, uh, with this program. How much progress have you seen since taking over as a head coach pretty much about a year ago? Uh, seen a lot of progress, um, both in, in the girls' um, ability and just maturity on the court, on and off the court. Um, actually, it's been, it's been great. Um, obviously, the first year, you're kind of thrown into a lot of new situations, um, so you, you learn a lot. So um, mistakes, um, you just don't make twice, but then still you learn it constantly. Figuring out new, uh, new situations always pop up, so you're always learning. Okay, and you returned four players, all of whom played in every match last year. Uh, let's first talk about the fifth one, though. Lisa Brunelli who was your number one singles player last year. She had uh, was a severe blow when she uh, incurred a season-ending knee injury uh, about a month ago. How's that going to affect the team? Um, it's it's going to be tough. Uh, that's, she's a big, I mean, she plays one singles, one doubles. Um, she's a big hitter um, and also a big presence on the court um, as far as the team goes. Um, so it, it, it presents a challenge for everybody because everybody's going to step up and literally everybody's going to move up a spot on the team. Um, but also it, it presents opportunities for players to step up and uh, kind of show that they, that they want to be at that, 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 that higher, higher level. Okay, and you do return, as we mentioned, four players from a year ago. Can you talk about each one of them real briefly and how you see them fitting in and where they're going to play? Uh, yeah, um, as far as... Uh, I'd like to talk about Katie, or Kelsey, Kelsey Cunningham, she's our, our lone senior. Um, one of, a great um, situation that I walked into last year was I had all underclassmen, no seniors. Um, so all those girl, girls were coming back. Um, Kelsey's going to be a leader on the team. She's our captain. And uh, she's gonna, she kind of had that role last year as the oldest girl on the team and um, most, most experienced. Um, with, a, with that leadership position, she's also going she's gonna, to she's had some injuries. Last year she had a bad shoulder, so um, she's going to focus on some singles, probably playing six, five or six for us this year. Um, then we go down to the, the next year is going to be Kara, next, Kara Samen, who played one doubles and two doubles, uh, one doubles and two singles for us. Um, she's gonna, that's, she's a big player that's going to have to step up. We're going to need her to play well at one. And uh, kind of, we have some, have some of those freshmen um, that she's going to kind of foster into a player. We can need her to play that leadership role as well. Um, and Bailey. Bailey Colas and uh, Delaney Dobbs um, coming back. They'll, again, still came a long way last year. I really like what I saw in, in, as far as hard workers and, um, and brought a lot, to, especially to the doubles aspect strategy-wise. Um, but still, especially last year, even towards the end of the season, we're looking for that, kind of trying to figure out their game um, at the college level. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do, especially in the beginning of the season. And with those four players, you have at least six slots every match. So it means the three of the freshmen, at least two of them are going to play regular, possibly all three. Tell us a little bit about those three newcomers. Um, pleasantly, and I knew they could play, but I was definitely pleasantly surprised with where they, uh, where they ended up, especially in these first couple weeks of practice. Um, they played really well, and they've shown that they they shown confidence that um, usually freshmen don't, I think, don't always bring to the court. Um, she was going to step up and play two or three, um, DeCourcy. And uh, we've got a lot of options as far as doubles go. Um, so, and Caitlin's probably going to be up there about the four or five position. And anything could happen. Um, we, one of the great options, I mean, we only had six girls last year. Yeah. Having a couple more, that's a, that's a great thing. Same thing with Brianna. Um, had some rust to shake off, so we're interested to see what um, she's progressed. Um, very impressively in the past couple of weeks, so um, we'll see where they, we'll see how things shake out. We'll see what happens. We're excited. Okay, and then finally, the NSIC race. Who are the teams to uh, to beat this year? Uh, it, if if it shakes out like last year, again, I, I see some uh, some possibly some switching around. But Augustana is definitely the team to beat. Uh, St. Cloud's really tough. Um, Winona is always tough. Those are those if in there. Um, uh, Mankato is always in the mix. Um, and then kind of in the middle, we're really bunched up. Um, I know even some of the teams that were in the lower spots in the NSIC uh, picked up some players or, or were able to add, add some people to their roster that are, um, it's going to be interesting to see how it, how it shakes out. And I see us kind of in the mix there too. Okay. Thanks, Coach.